Now you can also create Hollywood level VFX using AI. In this video, you are going to learn how to make a viral hook or transition using Nano Banana and Google VO3. <laughs> are you ready to learn? Let's dive in. Today I will use Google Nano Banana and Google VO3 to create this video. We have been attacked. I am just coming right now. I was waiting for this all the years. If you think it's going to be fun, hit the like button and start creating the video. First of all, we need a character. You can use your own. I am going to use this character to create my video. Now, I will create the first frame of the first scene using Google Nano Banana. However, to access Nano Banana and VO3, I will use an amazing AI image and video generator platform called David AI. Why I am not using it directly on Gemini or Flow, I will talk about this later. This is the David AI homepage. You will find the link in the description. After coming here, simply click on Try Divide AI and create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will be like this. On the left side, you will find all the creator tools. I will select the AI image option to generate the image. Here, you will find three options. Image to image, text to image, and template. I am selecting image to image. Now here I have to upload the character image first. I am uploading the image. Once the image is uploaded, enter the prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. You will find all the prompts I used in this video in the description box. Next, select the image generation model. I am selecting the nano banana model. In the end, set the number of images you want to generate. Once everything is set, hit the generate button. As it will take some time to generate the images, I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is, the images are ready. And look at the image, they are just amazing. I like both of them. Now, select the best one and save it to your device. Okay, now for the second video clip, I will turn this character into a Viking warrior, and I want to keep it in the same location. So, first, I will remove the character from the image. To do that, I am uploading the image, and then entering the prompt, remove the character. After that, set all other settings, and then hit the create button. After waiting for some time, I got this result. It perfectly removes the character. I will save the image, and then upload as the reference image along with the character image. Once both images are uploaded, we have to enter the prompt. I am entering another ready prompt. After that, set the model and the number of images. Once done, hit the create button. And here it is. The image is ready. This is really amazing. I will save this image. Okay, our first scene and second images are ready. Now, I will turn them into video clips. So, I am selecting the image to video generator tool. Here, you will find three options. Start image, between image, and reference image. I am uploading the image in the start image option. Once the image is uploaded, we have to enter the prompt. I am entering a ready prompt. After entering the prompt, if you want to enhance the prompt, turn on the AI prompt option. Now, the most important part, the video generation model. Here, you will find several options. We have to select the Master V 2.0 because it's powered by Google VO3. Next, you can select the video resolution. After that, the video duration. Master V 2.0 only supports 8 second video generation. In the end, set the aspect ratio of the video. I will with 16 to 9. Once everything is set, hit the create button. It will take around 2 minutes to generate the video. So, I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is, the video is ready. And look at the video quality. We have been attacked. I am just coming right now. It looks so real. The lip sync is perfect and the gesture is natural. It's a perfect video. Okay, now we have to create the second scene. I am uploading the second scene image. Once the image is uploaded, 
I will enter the second scene prompt. After entering the prompt, set all other settings. My settings are perfect. So, I am clicking on the create button. After waiting for some time, I got these videos. I was waiting for this all the years. And it's perfect. I wanted exactly this video. The visual effects, SFX and motion graphics are top notch. I love this. So, our first scene and second scene are ready. I am importing both the video clips into a video editor. You can use any video editor to edit the video. I am entering the first scene and then the second scene. Now you can notice the transition is not smooth. It looks weird. To make it perfect, we have to create a transition to make this part captivating. So, I will extract the last frame of the first video. You can also take a screenshot. Once the frame image is ready, come back to David AI. Now, select the Between Image option. Upload the first video's last frame as the first frame image, and then the last frame. Once done, enter the prompt. Just one thing, let me be clear. I generated all the prompts using ChatGPT. You will find it in the description box. Okay, after entering the prompt, set the video resolution, and then the video duration. As we need a very short video, I am selecting 5 seconds as the video duration. You can also generate 10 second video clips. Once done, hit the create button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The video clip is ready. And look at the video clip. The transformation is perfect. I love it. Now download the video clip and then insert it into the video editor. Place it between the videos. I will increase the video speed to make it perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay. Now we have to continue the video generation. I am exporting the last frame of the second video clip. Now come back to the image to video generator, and then select the start frame option. Upload the image, and then enter the prompt. After that, set all other settings and hit the create button. And here it is. The video clip is ready. Save the video to your device, and then insert the video. Place the video in the timeline. Now export the last frame of the last video, and then come to the DVID image to video generator. Now in the same method, generate all the video clips, and then assemble them with the video editor. Alright, our video is ready. But there is an issue. We don't have a consistent voiceover. We have been attacked. I am just coming right- I was waiting for this all the years. To fix the voiceover, I will use 11 labs. After coming to the 11 labs, select the voice changer tool. Now, upload the video clip. Once the video clip is uploaded, select the voice actor you want to use and then hit the generate button. Once the voiceover is ready, replace the original voiceover. Now, export the video. And here it is. Our final video is ready. Let's have a look. We have been attacked. I am just coming right now. I was waiting for this all the years. This is really amazing. So, now you can create Hollywood level video using Nanobana and Google VO3 on David AI. Not only that, you will find several other video and image generation features on David that will make your content creation easier. Now let's talk about why we will use DVID instead of Gemini or Flow. On Gemini, you can generate only three videos per day. DVID provides 40 video clips for only $10 and 120 videos for $25. And Gemini doesn't support the last frame and fast frame option. So, don't forget to try this tool. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I'll wrap up our video now. Before that, I'd love to hear about your experience creating content using DVID AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!